This video is on mutually inclusive and exclusive probability. We're going to be focusing on inclusive events. Exclusive events was when there was no overlap. So inclusive events means that there will be overlap. These events are still an or problem. So it should just be one event happening, one event happening. But you're going to have something that overlaps each other. They will, something will overlap. So suppose you're rolling a six-sided die. We're rolling one die. What's the probability that you roll an odd number or a number less than four? So we ask ourselves, can these both occur at the same time? If so, when? So if we write out the values and look at the differences between them and we find an overlap, that's inclusive. So we want a six-sided die. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. If I focus specifically on, I'm going to highlight in yellow our odd numbers. We want to highlight an odd number. That's a one, a three, and a five. Then we also want to focus on the, the probability of a number less than four. So I'm going to circle that in pink number less than four. So the number one, two, and three are all numbers that are less than four. The question here was asking can these occur at the same time? So do we have the yellow highlight and the pink circle happening at the same time? We have yellow and pink here, only pink, yellow and pink, only yellow. So we have two times when it's both colors. So that means that these are inclusive events because they can happen at the same time. They're included together. So when we find probability, when we find probability of an or, please remember when or, we would add the probabilities, but then we would subtract the overlap. The reason we want to know this is because we would add the two probabilities, the, the yellow and the probability of the pink, then we would subtract the two colors together, which happens twice here. So these do occur at the same time at the numbers 1 and 3. So there are two times that it happens. So we would end up subtracting two possibilities out of six. So mutually inclusive events, again, is one event. So when we're dealing with one event, which is an or situation. Where two or more outcomes do happen at the same time. So we're dealing with the probability of the union of two events, which is the addition rule still. We still do the same addition rule we've always done. We want to take our probability of A, the event A, or the outcome event, the outcome that we want to talk about, plus the probability of event B, which again is that second outcome that we want. But then we have to subtract the overlap, which the overlap is the probability of A and B. We just subtract the probability of the overlap. Now this is the exact same formula we would use for exclusive events. So you can use, so down here in these stars, you can use for the mutually exclusive as well, so two which for that one you would actually just subtract zero because mutually exclusive there is no overlap but because there is no overlap so or problems you always add the two values but then you subtract the overlap because you don't want to have that same number written twice it's the same thing as if we were talking about sets one two three four and then four five six seven eight you would not say that four twice 
So we look at some examples, we're going to determine if these are mutually inclusive or exclusive. So we have to determine if they happen at the same time. So if they are inclusive, we have to make sure we subtract the overlap. If they are exclusive, they will not have overlap at all. So what is the probability of choosing a card, so that's one event, from a deck of cards that is a club or a 10? So we have or. That means we're going to add and subtract the overlap. So we want clubs and then we want 10s. So we want the probability of choosing a club or a 10. We have to determine is this inclusive or exclusive. Can we have these at the same time? Okay, so there are, in a deck of cards, there are 13 clubs. There's the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. And then in a deck of cards, you have four tens. You have a heart, a diamond, a spade, and a club. So these actually happen at the same time. The ten of clubs is where they would overlap. So we're going to write this out. The overlap is the ten of clubs. There is only one card that they overlap. At. That's one out of one card that they overlap. And there are 52 cards in the deck of cards. So that means that this is inclusive. Inclusive. That means that we will have to subtract a value. So the probability of choosing a club, that's the first one we want to do. There are 13 clubs total out of 52 total cards. Plus, again, we just do basic probability here. There are, how many tens are there in a deck of cards? There are four suits. That means there are four tens. There are four tens out of 52. However, these both include the ten of clubs, which we don't want to include it two times. We only want to include it once. Remember, we want to subtract how many times it overlaps. Because this one already has the ten of clubs and this one has the ten of clubs, we only want to write it one time. So we have to subtract it once from either one of these. That's why we're only going to subtract one number. We don't have to subtract two of them. We just have to subtract one because we only want to have it written once. So minus 1 out of 52, because this is your overlap. This is your overlap. So now, we can actually, we could have taken it from here. That means that we only have the 10 of spades, of hearts, and diamonds. Or, we could have taken it from the 13, meaning we have the 2 through 9, and then the jack, queen, king, and ace, instead of the 10. So that 10 would be in here. So again, what this means is you only want to write out all of these numbers one time. So this 10 of clubs would be written twice if we have both of these. So we have to take it out once. So 13 plus 4 is 17, minus 1 is 16. 16 out of 52. If we plug this into our calculator, we get three significant figures, which is 0 0.308. That's the probability of getting a club or a 10 pulling only one card. What's the probability of choosing a number 1 to 10 that is less than 5 or odd? So on this one we want to see if there's overlap. So or means we're going to add and then subtract the overlap. So if we write out our numbers, since it's something easy to write 1 through 10, we can do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If we want less than 5, so I'm going to highlight less than 5 in yellow. So we have 1, 2, 3, and 4 are less than 5. And then we want odd numbers, so I'm going to circle those in pink. So that's 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Now, is there overlap? Since we have yellow and pink overlap in each other, there is overlap. That means that this is inclusive. So we write out what the overlap is. The overlap are your 1 and 3. 1 and 3. So how many times, how many numbers is that total? 
that's two times that they overlap out of how many numbers are there in total. There are 10 numbers, so two out of 10. So now we just do our probabilities. The first probability is less than five. There are, in yellow, there are one, two, three, four numbers that are in yellow. That's four out of 10 numbers plus. We want the pink, so there are one, two, three, four, five numbers that are in pink out of 10. We want to subtract the overlap. There are two numbers that overlap each other, so minus two out of 10. Because if we just did four plus five, that's nine out of 10, there would be a nine numbers that we could choose from. But you notice that the six, eight, and 10 don't have anything on them. So if you look at these, what numbers have something on them? It doesn't matter if there's multiple, but what has something on it? The one, the two, three, four, five, seven, and nine all have something on them. The six, eight, and 10 don't. So those are the three numbers that aren't included. So four plus five is nine, minus two is seven. And if you look, there are seven numbers that have something on them. So that will help us know if we're right. So this is equal to three significant figures is 0 0.700. This is inclusive, we had an overlap. A bag contains 26 tiles with a letter on each. One tile for each letter of the alphabet. What is the probability of reaching into the bag and randomly choosing a tile with one of the first 10 letters of the alphabet on it, or randomly choosing a tile with a vowel on it? So let's write out what we have. We can actually do this in a Venn diagram. I want to show you how to do that. We need to know if they will overlap or not. So if it says or, it says or, we still know we're looking for, we're going to add, but then subtract the overlap. So in a Venn diagram, we can go ahead and make our Venn diagram look as if it will overlap, but they might not. So the first circle, or the first oval, will be the first 10 letters. So first 10. And the second oval will be vowels. This is both. So the first 10 letters are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. The vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. We're not going to use Y. So we need to know if there's any overlap. A overlaps. So we're going to take it out of here, put them out from both of them, and put it into both. A. E. E is in both of them. So we put E in the middle. I. I is in both of them. So we put I in the middle. O is not. U is not. So we do have an overlap. There are actually three of them that overlap. Out of how many numbers total? There were 26 tiles. So we have three numbers that overlap. Over here, I'm going to write out my overlap. It's 3 out of 26 total numbers. Now, if you count, our total answer should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that should be our total numerator. Let's make sure that happens. So the first one is the first 10 letters. Well, that is 10 out of 26. Plus, we want vowels. There are five vowels out of 26. And now we have to subtract the overlap, which was that minus 3 out of 26. 10 plus 5 is 15. Minus 3 is 12. And it is 12 out of 26. So that means that we did this right. Because there are still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 letters in here that are not crossed out. So to three significant figures, this is 0 0.462. So because there was an overlap, this was an inclusive event. Because it was overlap, there was an inclusive event. This last one says a bag contains 26 tiles again. Right. So what is the probability of reaching into the bag and randomly choosing a tile with one of the last five letters of the alphabet on it or randomly choosing a tile with a, vowel, with a vowel? So or, so we're going to add and we're going to subtract the overlap. 
So again, we don't know if they're going to overlap yet, but we can still make a Venn diagram. So this one will be laugh five, and this one will be vowel. This will be both. So the last five letters are Z, Y, X, W, V. The vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Z does not overlap, Y does not overlap, X does not overlap, W does not overlap, and V does not overlap. That means that there is no overlap. So over here I would say that the overlap is zero out of, there are still 26 tiles that we had originally. So there is no overlap. If there is no overlap, then this is an exclusive event. Exclusive. So we want the two probabilities. The last five, there are five letters out of 26 total, plus there are five vowels out of 26, minus the overlap, which was zero out of 26. So if you add those up, that's just 10 out of 26. And to three significant figures, we would say that this is approximately 0 0.385. So again, it's all about determining if they do overlap. And you can draw Venn diagrams to help with the overlap. And if it does overlap and you drew a Venn diagram, you just cross up the ones that they overlap in and then put those, whatever they overlap in, put them in the middle. Then whatever's left that are not crossed out, like here, the A was crossed out here and here, so I can't count the A twice. But I still wrote it once. That's why, as I said up here, I'm only subtracting one of the values instead of both of them. I had two of them, but now I only have one of them. So I've only subtracted one of the letters. The E, I had two. Now I only have one, so I subtracted one of the letters. The I, I had two. Now I have one. I only subtracted one of the letters. So that's why I subtracted one of the each. So one, two, and three. That's how, that's how we got the three overlap.